Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll go through the steps to upgrade to the Windows 10 October 2018 update, also known as version 1809. An upgrade instead of doing a clean installation allows you to keep your files, apps and settings. In other words, it's just like installing a cumulative update such as those updates you install every month but with the difference that version 1809 includes new features and improvements. Although upgrading to the newest version of Windows 10 is usually an easy process, it is always recommended to create a full backup before proceeding in case you need to roll back. You can check the video description to get the link to watch the video to learn the steps to a full backup of your computer. Technically, there are three ways to upgrade to a new version of Windows 10. The first one is using Windows Update, which is the recommended process. When the update is ready for your device, you will get a notification to open the settings app to install the new version. If you miss the notification, you can simply go to the settings app and on update and security on Windows Update, you will see a button that the update is ready to install. So you just click that and your device will automatically upgrade to the uh, new version. If it's been a few days after the release of the October 2018 update and your device haven't received the new version, you can also use Windows Update and click the uh, check for updates button to force it download and upgrade your PC to the latest version of Windows 10. The second option is to use the Update Assistant, which is a tool that Microsoft makes available for devices that are not receiving the new version through Windows Update for any reason. And the third option is to use the Media Creation tool to install Windows 10 version 1809 on your computer, doing an in-place upgrade or creating a bootable media that you can also use to upgrade your computer. In this video, we'll be using the Media Creation tool to do an in-place upgrade. Before proceeding to avoid upgrade problems, Disconnect any peripherals such as printers, Bluetooth devices, USB drives, and external storage. You only need a keyboard, mouse, display, and an internet connection. Also, it is recommended to uninstall older software, security applications, and more importantly, third-party antivirus. You can always install them back after the upgrade. If you don't do this, you're likely to run into errors and other problems during the upgrade. To upgrade your device to the October 2018 update, you have to download the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website. I'll be leaving the download link in the video description below. While in the website, make sure to click the uh, click the download tool now button. Once you save the file, go to the downloads folder and double click the uh, executable to launch the media creation tool. Click yes. Click the Accept button, select the Upgrade this PC Now option, and click Next. Click the set button. Before you click the install button, make sure that the uh, key personal files and apps is listed right here. If it is not, you can select that option, clicking the uh, change what to keep button that you can see right here. And once you're ready, click the install button to start the upgrade to the Windows 10. October 2018 update.
And now you have successfully upgraded to version 1809. The entire installation should take less than an hour, but it all depends on your hardware and internet connection. If you want to check if you're actually running the October 2018 update, you can use the Windows key plus B keyboard shortcut that should open the new clipboard experience on Windows 10. If you see this experience, you're running version 1809. And that's how you do an in-place upgrade to move to the latest version of Windows 10. Please make sure to check the video description for important information such as the release date for this version of Windows 10 and more. And remember that if you're trying to use the media creation tool before the update is officially available, your device won't install the October 2018 update. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.